everyone welcome to new session on astrodynamics today we are going to see about eccentricity so what is mean by eccentricity eccentricity is defined by the letter e and it defines how oval the satellite orbit is okay so we'll look into the next slide so how to calculate the eccentricity eccentricity is calculated using focal distance divided by semi major axis so that is f by a i have denoted focal distance by f and semi major axis by a so eccentricity has no unit this value ranges from 0 to 1 if the eccentricity value is 0 then your satellite orbit is circular if the eccentricity value is 1 so it will be so elongated ellipse or that is parabolic orbit okay it depends on how the values varies from 0 to 1 so this is just a calculate this is just a picture to understand how to calculate the eccentricity so if you see, C is the center of the ellipse, that is center of the orbit. It may be ellipse may be circular or if eccentricity is equal to zero, it is circular, okay? Then here the earth is located. So this is either apogee or perigee, okay? The distance between center of the earth and the uh, uh, earth and the center of the orbit is focal length. And E is the earth and A is the semi-major axis. So this is how you can calculate it. E is equal to focal distance by semi major axis. So usually, if uh, have you seen the last uh, uh, video? Uh, if not, I'll be linking the uh, link in the de description box. Please see the last video for semi major axis. Along with it, I have changed the eccentricity. If you have if you have seen the last video, I have represented all the eccentricity of zero. Now I have changed the values of eccentricities like 0 0.001, 0 0.002, 0 0.3 and 0 0.8. See here this is almost 0. Okay. And 0 0.3 and 0 0.8. Let us see how the ellipse look like in the simulation. Okay. In the simulation software. So semi major axis has uh, unit as kilometer. Eccentricity know it. And rest has the unit as degree. So the software which I have used is uh, this uh, SDK system toolkit so if you see here so this blue one blue one is for for eccentricity is 40,000 so see here so eccentricity is 40,000 so if you look here so 40,000 has eccentricity as 0 0.8 sorry blue one has semi major axis at 40,000 so and its eccentricity is 0 0.8 so it is elongated like this and if you see 10,000 has eccentricity 0 0.3 so it will be not elongated as 40,000 semi major axis uh, orbit but little bit elongated so let us zoom it and see so this is the 10,000 ka uh, orbit so I'm rotating and showing you just see so this is 10,000 uh, uh, 10,000's orbit and now if you see the orbit of 7,500 and 69 6.5 semi major axis respect to orbit it's almost circular so see here white color is 7,500 it is almost circular and 6,000 is almost circular because it's very less value it's almost 0 okay 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 so this eccentricity is also calculated according to the path and where the coverage needs to be okay so while designing the complete satellite orbit we'll get to know why why how to choose the sat eccentricity values okay so that's all for today's lesson lesson let's uh, i'll meet you in next session bye bye take care